It's considered by some to be one of the most gruelling sporting disciplines to tackle. But with the challenge, there's also plenty of excitement for the Isle of Man in the triathlon at this year's Island Games. It's a relatively new sport at the Games compared to others. And it was in fact here on Manx Shores in 2001 the triathlon made its first Island Games appearance. 22 years on and there will be 11 Isle of Man competitors competing in the sport this time around. What's more, in 2023 there's a new competition being added in the triathlon for the first time. One man who has plenty of games experience, both as an athlete and a coach, is Isle of Man triathlon team manager Juan Kinley, who incidentally led the triathlon team at last year's Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Recently, I got the chance to sit down with Juan to hear how the build-up to Guernsey has been and also what he thinks his team is capable of. Preparations are going really well. Um probably looking at one of the strongest teams we've ever taken to the games and um, so really excited about that and um, we've got seven men competing and two women competing unfortunately we couldn't get another female competing but you know they're all racing at the moment all doing really well all hitting the performance of what they're looking at for the games and in terms of triathlon here on the island it's always a, a busy schedule i guess and uh, this time of year as we're speaking at the moment is is no exception but the fact that they're getting regular outings in and keeping themselves fit that must be very important before heading to Guernsey yeah definitely um, we've got athletes who competed in our local event uh, the Manx Tri Sprint Championships but we've also got people competing at an international level and competing against the world's best at the moment so you know it's a real mix of uh, talent we've got going there and looking to Guernsey as well for the triathlon side of things there's a bit of a change this year as well for the first time uh, for those who don't know could you explain what that change is yeah so on the Sunday on the first day of the event there'll be the standard uh, or Olympic distance race um, and a, a combined team event um, which will be the fastest three from each team we, and we've always run that event or the uh, games have always run that event but this time for the first time on the Friday at the end one of the last events of the games will be a mixed um, sprint relay so it's two men and one woman in a team um, and it, it, they all race and they all do the same distance and then hand on to each other. And a lot of people have seen this in the Olympics and in uh, Commonwealth Games. A really exciting event to watch. And in terms of your preparation, I guess, from a coaching side of things, does that have any change at all on how you prepare things that there's two events instead of one as previously or does it not really have any effect on what you're doing? Not for me because I don't directly coach uh, a lot of these um, more of a team manager role at these games. The added complication I guess with these games is our, our athletes who are going are really good at all sports and um, so we have athletes um, who are competing in other sports while they're there as well so I think a lot of my role will be trying to manage what they can do and what they can't do when they're at the games. Going back to last year as well, you were heading up the triathlon team for the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham as well. So how does preparing for the Ireland Games differ to the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, Ireland Games is obviously a lower level, but you know it is the competition is still high. For the triathlon at this event, um, at the Ireland Games, there will be a number of athletes who competed at Commonwealth Games from other countries. It's a slightly lower level, but you know it's a real stepping stone for those who, who may have uh, ambitions really to compete at Commonwealth Games in the future. And just on that point, looking at the team selections, I think you've already said in comments yourself that there is a, a breadth of experience, but also a chance for competitors to compete for the first for the first time some of them as well how, how important is that that they're getting this opportunity yeah absolutely you know it's it's a, an event where we've we have got that real mix as you say we've got some really experienced athletes and we've got a really young athlete or two young athletes um first time at games and um, we've got athletes there with experience from cycling previously you've won medals at uh, in cycling so we've got the experience of competing at island games but you know i think for anyone who's been to an island games or witnessed any of it you know it is a great event to be involved in you have experience of the island games in whichever capacity it has been what makes the island games so special i think it's just everyone's proud to represent the isle of man um, i've been involved um, and competed in probably about eight or nine different games now it, originally in Babington, then in triathlon. And, you know, I think it's a, a thoroughly enjoyable week um, when you're there. And you get everybody going to support other events as well. So, you know, the, the triathletes will go and support the swimmers and support the athletes and support the basketball. So, you know, I think it's a real team. It's a huge, big team. And I think this year we're taking 196 athletes to this, this Games. People talk about, yes, obviously there is some good competition in the Ireland Games as well, but a lot of different sports and people associate with it talk about the you know the, the friendly and the social side of things as well it seems like there's a real good connection with all the the island nations there is that something you'd agree with yeah definitely and um, people you you meet and certainly the younger athletes people i've met at, at games probably 
20 years ago um, I'm still friendly with now and, and it's you, you look forward to seeing them at each of the games and you still have contact with them during the you know, out, outside of the games period as well. What are the aims for the triathlon team in Guernsey? Yeah certainly um, from my perspective we should if we talk about the, the men's team first of all uh, the men's team are are really capable of being in the medals. In the individual medals, I'd be really surprised if they're not in the top uh, one or two there. And we've got two or three athletes capable of doing that. And for the combined team for the standard distance race, you know, certainly I think we're probably one of the strongest nations there. And that, you know, the, the athletes there, that, you know, that they're going to lead our team really. It's going to be Will Draper, uh, Corin Leeming and Charlie Swales. And in terms of the actual course you've probably had a bit of a, a look at that already in terms of down by your know, Fort Grey as well the opening one so what do you make of that are there any areas that you feel the Alaman will have strengths in will any challenges what do you make of it I don't think it'll make any difference to the Isle of Man I think it'll probably help us you know racing on the Isle of Man and, and you know where, where our uh, guys race it's always hard it's always windy and um, so I don't think the harder the course probably the better it would suit our team Thank you for having the stamina to make it to the end of the Manx Radio Sportscast. You're clearly someone who has their eye on the ball at all times. Want to hear more about the latest sporting news across the Isle of Man and much more? Then might I recommend you take the plunge and subscribe to this series or a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so that, in a flash, all of our finest moments take a winner's place on your smartphone. Thank you. <laughs>